One bright winter afternoon, a small group of family members stood at the top of a cliff and threw white roses into the turbulent sea near Bondi. They came to remember John Russell, the popular 31-year-old local bartender lovers, who was thrown off cliffs by unidentified assailants in 1989 in Marks Park. Tamarama. Presumably because he was gay. James Brooking said his cousin's trial was still not over. For 34 years, his relatives have carried the heavy weight of pain, anger and pain and the mystery of not knowing who killed him. It's not over yet, said cousin James Brooking at 730. We must all live in hope and believe that eventually justice will be served for all victims. But also for survivors. Marks Park was famous for attacks on gay men in Sydney at the time. Gangs were known to carry out attacks and robberies. One group called themselves the Parksiders. They were a bunch of cowards. They were strong in packs, said Mr. Brooking. Some criminals have been jailed for their crimes, but other errs may still be alive today, roaming freely among us. They're probably everywhere, he said. You know who you're standing next to. John Russell's younger brother, Peter, remembers the day police officers told him they had found John's body, which they identified at the Glebe Forensic Court. Life wasn't the same without her best friend. I suffered a lot for the first three or four years because I drank like a wild man. He said at 7.30 a.m. Joyful moments, such as the birth of grandchildren, came and went. But underneath it clearly stated this doesn't upset you. You have to put that aside. John and Peter Russell shared a close friendship. Since then, Mr. Russell has been tireless face of the family. Sworn to find John's or S until no one in clan was left. As hard as it is. That's what it is. It's been a very long and grueling 34 years get to this point. And anything that can lead us the closing path or any response is why we're here. Mr. Russell presented evidence more than 30 unresolved cases of suspected gay hate deaths dating. Back to the 1970s to the NSW Special Commission investigation into LGBTIQ hate crimes. Which re-examined John Russell's case. Mr. Russell believes justice could come sooner for John if the police initially conducted the investigation more thoroughly. It was horrifying at best. He said. Peter Russell swore to find his brother's S. The initial police investigation admitted that John's fall from a cliff was accidental. But a 1990 forensic investigation was unable to determine whether he fell accidentally. A second investigation in 2005 confirmed the family's suspicions that John was thrown off a cliff by an unknown person or persons. And Jacqueline Milledge, deputy state coroner, described some aspects of the initial police investigation as embarrassing. Police had collected a vital clue at the scene, but later lost it. Today, the whereabouts this piece of evidence, which may have led to the discovery DNA, is unknown.